you may have heard, I'm sure you will have heard quite a lot of what I'm going to say. Um, I just wanted to take a step back and look at the bigger view of what you should be doing um, in terms of what, uh, what your digital marketing efforts are. So, um, so you did, you did, uh, oh, I'm just seeing, yeah, you did hear a bit about me. That is me. Um, uh, uh, um, uh, my favorite social media platform is Twitter. Please find me there. Um, or, or send me an email. I will put up my address again at the end of the, of this talk. Um, I, I, I was a journalist before I went into business. Um, and so I really have a preference for, for content uh, marketing and content generation. So if you were in the talk before, um, from Brett, um, I thought it was a, gr a great talk. Um, we, uh, uh, we generally approach it from a different angle um, marketing, and that's really from um, a more content, more organic point of view. So it's good to have some different views, different perspectives. Um, and, I'll, and, I'll, and I'll go into more of what I mean in a moment. So first of all, what is digital marketing? It took me years to figure this out, to be honest. It's, like, it's such a, it's such a uh, you know, a mysterious uh, thing. What is it actually? I mean, all it is, is it's the use of the internet, your mobile dev devices, your social media, search engines, and other digital channels to reach consumers. It's just like marketing. It's just that it happens online. So um, there's, no, there's nothing uh, super mysterious about it at all. Here are some of the tools and you've, you already use them, you already uh, know them well, Web, your website, your social media efforts. And of course, that's all your different um, social media platforms that you choose. Your content marketing, that's if you're writing articles about your products, if, you, uh, if you're trying to influence um, things from a, a content point of view, your paid digital advertising, which is what Brett was just talking about, Newsletters and mail shots, uh, WhatsApp becoming more and more a marketing tool. Uh, bots um, on WhatsApp and on um, Facebook Messenger now become really easy to implement and really important in your digital marketing um, mix or at least uh, in your potential toolkit. Apps and um, email, email being the killer app. Uh, is there any better app in the world than old fashioned email? So those are your, your tools. Um, just a, a, a slide to explain um, kind of the universe of marketing. There's three, uh, there's three parts to it. There's owned, there's paid, and there's earned. Owned media, um, owned marketing and, and media is what you actually own. Now, there are, there are actually fewer things that you own than you might think. You own your brand. You own your, your website. Um, after that, pretty much everything it falls into the other, the other realms. Um, paid is what you are prepared to pay for to get, to get um, users to look at you. So that really is strictly what Brett was talking about. Um, paid Google advertising, you are paying the search engine to find you. It's a straight transaction. Earned is more the area of PR, um, um, that's the the that's when people are talking about you because you have earned it. Your reputation has gone so far that you've earned it. Of course, you want it to be good uh, earned coverage, not bad earned coverage. You want, um, I would argue, uh, to be more kind of Barack Obama than um, than um, the than Donald Trump at the moment in the world in terms of what you what you earn. Uh, there was a little controversy. Um, okay, uh, so that's, that's your universe. Now I'm going to get to the solar system. And this, this slide I really, I really want you to, to look at because it is basically digital marketing. Uh, you can do a whole degree in the subject. And, and if you understand this, then you understand um, what you're supposed to be doing. In the center of your digital marketing solar system is your website and your blog. And I would put them as separate things. They might well be, um, they might well, might well be the same thing. Uh, or built on the same platform. But your website is uh, usually more static. It's got information that doesn't change too much. Your blog would be where you're actually writing about your topic. So if you, if you own a, um, a, a spa product company, um, you would be blogging about, um, at the moment, you, you keep it really uh, um, relevant and, and pertinent to what's going on in the world. Uh, how do you know your spa products are safe? How to... Um, which spas would you actually visit after lockdown? And how would you know that they are COVID-19 free? 
um, that's the kind of thing you would be writing on your blog versus on your website, giving um, all your different product range. So really, this is the most important part of your entire digital marketing solar system. One of the most important um, reasons why it's so important is that you actually own it. Um, and by the way, make sure that you do own it. Make sure that uh, your marketing company hasn't actually registered some URL and you don't know who actually owns that domain. You own this um, and, 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 and nobody can take that away from you. Um, when you start to work in social media, you do not own the social media platforms. In fact, there are very, very few social media platforms where you do own the content. Once you start to put uh, content on a social media platform, it becomes um, shared content, it goes into the public domain, and it's no longer yours. This is, this is fine. I just want you to understand the, the d discrepancy. So um, in your solar system, you will choose which social media platforms fit your business the best. And, it, and, and not, there's no one size fits all. You will decide, um, depending on what you do, which, which ones are the most important. So we've got uh, Twitter here, yeah, really good for news, breaking stuff. If you're into politics, human rights, um, newsy type stuff, anything that uh, is very fast moving, Facebook is probably, um, sorry, Twitter is probably for you. Facebook, still the biggest social media platform in Africa, still the, social, still the biggest social media platform in the world. You probably cannot ignore Facebook, even if you hate it, even if you've personally committed Facebook suicide or you've never uh, deigned to go onto it yourself. Um, it really is just the biggest, the biggest uh, social media platform in the world. It's not going away. Numbers are continuing to, um, to grow. Um, then then the, you've got YouTube that Brett spoke about, um, the second biggest search engine in the world after, um, after Google itself, also owned by Google, and LinkedIn, a very important and growing um, social media platform. And I would argue probably better value for your money, depending on what you're trying to achieve, than a Facebook or even a Google advertising at the moment in South Africa. Uh, yes, you also do have to have a mixture of um, earned and paid so you can put a, a, an article onto LinkedIn um, and then you would promote it further to get further eyeballs. Um, so it's a mixture of, of paid and, and earned. Um, LinkedIn has positioned itself as sort of the clever person's Facebook um, in this day and age. And then, and then newsletters are just another, another example. This is not definitive. Uh, obviously many other, it doesn't in, include all the other things I put on the previous, on the previous slide. Um, all right, so going to the next, uh, the next slide, um, uh, as Brian Solis said, welcome, whoops, sorry, back. Welcome to a new era of marketing in which your brand is defined by those who experience it. So, so you, of course, you can decide what you think your brand should be and what you want it to be, but it is still going to be defined to a degree by the people who are actually experiencing your brand, which may not be, I mean, ideally, it is how you want, how, exactly how you want it to be received but it may not be. Um, and so I, I would say just to, um, in terms of marketing, never mind digital marketing, what's really important before you start on any digital marketing exercise, or if you want to reevaluate re your digital marketing that you're already doing, uh, this is a, 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 a slide that just uh, uh, encourages you to remember what your brand is, what you stand for. So let's start with the heads and hearts. Uh, this is what people, what you yourself, and then what your, what your customers uh, really, you want them to be feeling about your brand. What is your vision, your values, your beliefs? Um, you should have those set out very well because um, how your whatever you define your brand to be will of course come across in your digital marketing. And if you haven't defined it, um, you, you're just going to look rudderless. You're going to look um, you're going to look mediocre, and like you like you don't stand up. So decide decide on those things if you haven't already. Revisit them if you if you have. Walking and talking, this is the physical. How does your brand look? How do you talk? How does it behave in public? Um, and, then, and then what is the proof in the pudding? Uh, what is your strap line, um, your tagline? Uh, what is the proof? What are your case studies? What are the testimonials that people say? What is your positioning? And so that's just a, a reminder that digital marketing is really a part of marketing. So, um, so it's not like it's a, uh, uh, um, a, a whole um, subject on its own. It really, is, it really is marketing. Important question to ask yourself, who are your audience? What are your brand and business objectives? You don't just go onto Facebook because uh, I said you should go on. 
you need to know what do you actually want to achieve by going onto Facebook, for instance? What is your industry and who are your competitors? Uh, do you need to be on a Facebook or on a LinkedIn because your competitors are uh, and you're going to be left behind if you aren't? Or do you actually need to go onto LinkedIn because none of your competitors are there yet and you can be a, a leader in this space? What is your messaging going to be? Every single message that you put out in the, into the digital universe should be actually one that's constructed, that's thought about carefully. Uh, think about obviously your context and your global picture. I, I'm sure you've all had this experience. I've had a couple of experiences um, during COVID-19 where I feel that, um, that marketers are marketing really insensitively. I keep getting one from a game lodge that says, book your stay, book your stay, book your stay. And I know perfectly well that they can't um, accommodate my booking if, even if I book right now. It's very hard sell. I'm also getting one on WhatsApp actually from a friend of mine who makes jewelry and every second day she's saying, oh, buy my jewelry, buy my jewelry, buy my jewelry. And it, it looks nice. It's beautiful. It's nicely crafted and designed, but because of the frequency of it, it looks just totally desperate. So, um, yeah, think about the context and, 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 and what you're operating in. Uh, obviously, choose your channels carefully. Rather, don't, don't choose every channel just because uh, it's kind of hit and miss. Choose your channels with um, precision. Um, that's not to say you can't play around and, and experiment, but choose your channels, stick with them and run them properly. Um, and then what are your measurements for success? Set them up early and make sure you keep measuring and then you keep iterating um, um, and, and changing things around when you need to. Um, yeah, so I will share my slides um, with, the, with the organizers and um, you're really welcome to use them. I'm not gonna go um, into all of this because I think um, I might have um, given myself too many slides. Um, I just want to show you a case study. Um, Flow works with Mango Airlines on their social media. And um, um, social media obviously being one aspect of digital marketing. This is their Facebook page. They are the biggest airline in Africa on, on um, social media, which they, was a measurement that they actually asked us. That's what they wanted to achieve. We started working with them about four years ago. Um, and they really wanted to be the, the biggest in terms of, of, of airlines. So that was their measurement. Um, here are some of the artwork um, and just a point that um, doesn't matter what, what platform you're using, every single social media platform, digital marketing platform is becoming more and more visual. Um, video and GIFs are, are more and more popular and more and more important. So um, uh, you can put up a, a, a status on Facebook with just some words and you can test it for yourself, put it up with um, put it up with some images and put it up with a bit of video and your post is going to perform so much better. So uh, just into the content planning, when you're actually deciding on your content, make sure, um, sorry, make sure that you, that you know exactly what it is that you want to be um, reflecting in your social media. Do you want to talk, do you want to be talking um, about the industry, about your brand, about uh, do's and don'ts, tips for, tips for living in these, in these crazy times. Um, keep your content goals in mind. What is your marketing strategy? Um, um, a digital strategy, marketing strategy can do many things. It can make sales, it can build brand awareness. They're not necessarily exactly the same thing. Um, you, you should really be, um, be thinking carefully about what you want to achieve. And then uh, thinking how often do you want to be posting on each social media platform and planning and posting. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on to, um, to, so this is just uh, the very, very high level um, uh, content pillows for Mango Airlines, which are shared with permission. Um, you'll see that we've kind of um, um, posted it into, into three, uh, three main pillars, content that's engaging. In other words, it's not hard sell at all. Social media is not necessarily a place to hard sell. Um, um, just positioning yourself as a, uh, in Mango's case as a, as a playful brand. Um, air travel trivia, did you know, travel tips, um, tactical stuff. Whenever someone does well at sport, uh, Mango, Mango posts. Um, pillar two, the brand content, um, um, showing uh, people the destinations, um, really talking more about the brand without doing it, with still not doing it um, super hard sell. And then hard sell, the third content, uh, really uh, one day sales, increased flights, selling, selling flights, once off um, that need to be sold. Um, so so you, you'll see that we, we, we do look at it statistically. Uh, we've got it down to 35, 35% and 10%. You don't want to be doing 90% hard sell 
and 10% um, engaging content and brand content, or people are just going to be switched off and not and not be interested in 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 what you're doing. Okay, so um, here's just some some examples of that. Actually, in action, uh, engaging content, what we would call engaging content. Some travel tips, uh, tips for where to sit uh, uh, um, and how to book your seat on on the app with a nice little video. Promotional content. This is very hard sell. Um, um, and brand content. This is the beautiful destination. Uh, inspire people to travel. So. Um, Sorry, I'm just checking. Uh, I think I have to end now. Getting a message. Sorry. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm just finishing off. Sorry, I did take uh, t take in a few more slides than we probably had time for. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go back to that uh, end slide and just remind you: this is your digital marketing solar system. Um, it's it's really uh, keeping all these balls in the air and being self self referencing them to one another. So putting something on Facebook and then uh, making sure that it pulls back to your blog, publishing something on your blog or your website and pushing it out to Twitter. So yeah, that's it. Um, it's short and sweet. It's just an overview. Uh, good luck to all of you with your digital marketing efforts. Um, absolutely, it's the time to be doing digital marketing. People are at home, they're sitting in front of their computer um, and they, they are ready to be receiving your message. Just do it well, do it with um, sensitivity, uh, do it with precision and with meaning and, um, and you'll do great. So thanks very much.